Welcome back everybody. I'm out on a gravel quarry right here and um, it's not being used anymore so it's pretty much all overgrown but the water is super clear. And next to me is a river and in that river there's a lot of species, everything from smallmouth bass, northern pike, walleye, suckers, carp, you name it. And um, it's a flowage that goes out to the Mississippi. So whatever is in there, hopefully when the waters go up, they work their way into this. And just maybe, hopefully, this right here actually has some fish in it. I have no idea, so it's the first time for me. So stay tuned and let's see if we can put some fish in this kayak. I'm excited to see what happens here. There we go. Nice. That's a good start. Definitely fish in here. Definitely fish. I did not see that one happening. I can just get it out. She's in there good. Players. Not bad. Not bad at all. Should get a measure just to see. It could just turn out to be the biggest fish of the day for me. I have no idea what to expect in here. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got closed mouth. There we go. About 17 and a half, just, yeah, 17 and a half. Looks pretty good. Later, little dude. That was awesome. Awesome. So we know there's fish in here. That's good. It is amazing how blue the water is. Clean. You could definitely be eating fish out of this one with no worries. That whopper plopper sure does have some good action on it. I did put a eight inch leader on there, a lightweight one. 12 pound, something light, just for pitching these things. Let's work our way further down this shoreline right here and see if we can make something else happen. I have no idea how deep the water is here, but if the fish are running deep and the clear as water as it is, they should see something happening on the surface. That lure is way out there. I had to unleash a bird nest. Not too bad. Definitely feels like I've had bigger the other night.
Not too bad, but could have been bigger. Oh, I tried to bolt flip that one in. Didn't go as planned. There we go. Not too big. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Oh. Just a little dude. All right, the wind is blowing me. I'm heading right into the wind a little bit, so I'm gonna move my way across this lake a little bit and try to use the wind to my advantage. Something's jumping over there. Let's see if we can figure out what that was. Right off that little point right there. Something was jumping. See if it's got bass written all over it. Sure is windy today. A little something small trail in it. There we go. Oh, got off. There's a nice bass trail in it. There we go, a little one. A little one. Didn't even hardly feel that one bite. Doesn't feel too big. No. Nope. Not too big. I want more of the big ones. Oh, not too bad. Oh, there's another one down there too. Definitely digging. Nice. They like the whopper plopper, that's for sure. Let's get a measure on this one. About 16 maybe, 15 and a half. I'd say 15 and a half, not too bad. Nice bass. Yeah. There we go. Come on. 
Not too big. Just figured I'd throw one behind me. Can't hurt, pick up them sloppy seconds. Oh, it's a beautiful day out. Other than the wind, the wind has definitely got the best of me. Ooh, there we go. Right by the kayak. Oh, pike. Oh, there's pike in here. Whoa. There, get off my hook. Not fighting hard. Not very big either. Oh, dang it. The hook's in a bad spot. Right in the gill. nasty spot to get hooked up right in the lower side of the gill I did not want to get that into the into the pink at all Well, there's a bike that's been sitting in the water a little long time. Muscles all over it. Junky bike. It's almost time to go anyways. I've been out here for quite a while. Hours. Working it hard. Throwing a square bill. Throwing the whopper plopper. There were some big fish. Lost a few fish, but all in all I had a good time and I hope you did too. And if you want to see more of these, do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe and ring that bell. Anyways. Until next time, keep your hook set and rod bent. See ya.